A proton travels from point P to point Q following the path shown, while under the influence of both electric force and magnetic force. If no other forces act on the proton, and the proton's kinetic energy decreases from 500 eV at point P to 300 eV at point Q, what is the work done on the proton by the electric force as the proton moves from P to Q? The magnetic force acting on a moving charge is Q V cross B. We use the right hand rule V cross B to find the direction of the force. Because the thumb is the direction of the force, and the thumb is always perpendicular to the straight four fingers. So the force is always perpendicular to V and perpendicular to B. Let's say this is the path the charge follows. V is always tangent to the path. And if the magnetic force is always perpendicular to the velocity, that means the magnetic force is always in the radial direction. So the magnetic force can never do any work. Because the work done by a force is the force times the displacement times the cosine the angle between the force and the displacement, a force that is in the radial direction is always going to be perpendicular to the displacement. So this force cannot do any work. Since the magnetic force cannot do any work on the moving proton, the work must be done by the electric force. The kinetic energy of the proton decreases from 500 eVs to 300 eVs. The work must be negative 200 eVs. The electric force takes 200 eVs of energy away from the proton. So the answer is negative 200 eVs, C. Two long straight currents are at two corners of an isosceles triangle. Find the direction of the net magnetic field produced by these two currents at point P. If I use my thumb to follow the current, the curve of the four fingers will go that way at point P, go in that direction. If it is not obvious to you that the direction of the magnetic field goes that way at point P, we can look at the magnetic field lines first. If I use my thumb to follow the current, you can see that the magnetic field lines, they form circles that are clockwise. So the direction of the magnetic field at point P must be tangent to the circle in a clockwise direction, so it's like that perpendicular to this radial direction. So tangent to the circle, clockwise direction. Same thing for this current. My thumb follows the current out of the paper. The field lines are counterclockwise circles. So the magnetic field at point P must be counterclockwise tangent to the circle. And so the two sides, they are symmetric. If I add these two magnetic fields together, I have to make a parallelogram. And the diagonal is the sum. So the answer is uh, upward, A.